this is a video to show you how to make a simple candy stripe bracelet just like this one. Now if you're new to making friendship bracelets, this is the first kind of bracelet that you want to make but make sure that you also check out my video on how to make friendship bracelet knots before you get started. Now to get started, you are going to need 65 to 70 inches of each string. Yes, 65 to 70 inches, not centimeters, inches of each string and I will show you why. Now, for most bracelets, what you are going to do is cut your strings and then double them over in half. Find the ends and run your finger through the middle till you find the very center. Now, once you've found the center, tie a knot to make a little loop at the end. And you might want to secure your bracelet with a button at the end or a bead or something, so make sure that that loop is going to be big enough to fit that button through. And then pull it tight. So now, you see you had all that string, but how long is it now? We've got 10, 20, 30, about 34 inches to work with left. Clip the knot into the top of your clipboard and arrange your strings. I'm just doing a regular candy stripe and I'm only using two strings in this one and since I folded them over that makes them four just to keep it nice and simple. Now I want the colors to be alternating so I have a yellow, then blue, then yellow, then blue. Let's get started. So to do a candy stripe, you're going to work left to right. And just to clarify a little bit on this, I'm going to number the strings. One, two, three, four. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. One, two, three, four. So when you're working left to right, your left string is going to tie on to the one directly next to it. So for this one, number two is going to be the bass string, and number one is going to tie on to number two. So we're doing forward knot since it's a candy stripe. So tie one forward knot on to number two there. And after that knot has been tied, the string switch places. So what was originally number two is now number one, and number one is now number two. And you keep going with the same string that you were tying onto until you're done with all the strings. So now number two is gonna tie onto number three. And we're just doing regular forward knots for this candy stripe. Now on to number four. And now our number one is number four. So once you've gone through all the strings in the row and your first string is now your last string, then you can start tying on with this string. So number one is gonna tie on to number two, a forward knot. And now that string is at the end. So we start with the next one. You see where this is going? I hope so. Otherwise you have bigger problems.
So now that your bracelet is measuring, let's see, mine is measuring about seven and a half inches, including the loop. That's a little bit long for my wrist, actually, but that's a pretty average length of bracelet. Go ahead and tie a knot at the end of your work. And the way I like to tie my knots is by starting the knot a little bit over my work. So I've started a little bit over and then just shimmy the knot down to the very edge of that. And pull it tight. And when I'm done with the bracelets, I kind of like to tug on them a little bit. It helps them loosen up because some of these thinner ones have a tendency to curl. And if you pull on them and make them a little bit more pliable, they're not going to be curling up. So now that I have the knot on the end of that one, I'll just clip it back under the clipboard and braid this end. Now I only have four strings on this one, so I'm just gonna double up the blue strings so I can get three strands to braid. So once that braid is finished, just tie a knot to finish it off. and trim it. And you have a pretty average bracelet. Now, I know a lot of people finish their bracelets off like this just with a loop and a little braid, but I have another video showing you different options for beginnings and ends of your bracelets. So they're a little bit cuter and I'd say more practical than this one braid and loop thing. But there is your basic stripe friendship bracelet and I have another video um, on how to do bracelets with uneven numbers of strings, a candy stripe, and a thicker candy stripe pattern than this one. Um, so I hope you give those a look. Enjoy!